All right, let's get started here. Basically, let's create our first little project, our, our Java program, a Hello World one. Let me go up to File. I'm actually using NetBeans IDE 7.1. I'm going to head up to File here, top left, and Project. Hit Java, Java application, which you can grab a rest here. Like you could use, uh, if you're doing serverless JSPs, Java Web, and J2EEs, you can do those, PHP code, and you can throw in some JavaScript, things like that, using jQuery as a framework, C++, things like that. But we're just using Java. We're going to create a Hello World uh, class and run it. It should print out Hello World using Java, Java application, next. And we will name it. Let's name it Hello World. Create the main class. That's what we want to do. Finish. Populates everything in. There goes me, the author. Erase the comment. Erase another comment. Erase this comment. Erase this comment. Basically, this is what you see. You'll see a package. Package the Java's in. Here's the class. Hello world class. Public. Remember I mentioned the uh, access modifier public, so anyone can see that. Class hello world. And you have your main method here. Public static void main string args. Basically, this will run your class. Um, basically, the string args is for it's useful for passing values. Um, but we'll talk about that later. So you can pass values in. But this is the main method used to run. So under this, we need to explain so you understand that how we created this code. So this class is called Hello World class, public. That's an access modifier right here, public. And within these, this break. And this curly brace is where you can upload many things, methods, uh, instance variables, and a few other things. But all I want to do is print something out. So I would type system, system dot out dot print. Hold on. It's a string, so we would put it in double quotes. Hello world. And on the back of it, what do you think we'll put there? Right there. So you get this error out of here. There we go. Semicolon. Comment it. And using a string. Put in double quotes. Remember that. So you're right there. That's how to print the strings out. So let's run it. I can hit this here or Control S, things like that. I just hit it here. Save it. Right click. Run. Just print over here. There it is. Build successful. The Hello World uh, class with the public access modifier. All right, so let me explain some things here. Basically, when you're writing, uh, say, string, um, you use variables. And the variables, the names, you can only use three things. You always have to remember you have to use three things. Uh, let me comment this one out with a different commenter. See, I can comment in there with this. There's another way besides the double brackets right here. So here. Always, when using variables, uh, they can only begin with, I'm putting lines so you can see, uh, letter or a dollar sign. Or underscore. Oh, I didn't even spell score. How do you spell score? Like that. It's a little line. 
Then after that, you can put all the letters you want, things like that. So always remember that. All right? That's just one piece. Now let's get rid of it. So you highlight it. Always, when using variables, they can only begin with a letter, a dollar sign, just this right there. Not the one I wrote, just the dollar sign. And the underscore, just the little line. Okay. Here's how we print Hello World. And always remember, when using the uh, string, put it in double quotes. Let me erase that. Let me erase this. So, now, let's use, as I mentioned, the variables I just wrote. So I'm going to erase that. I'm going to erase this. Even though we could just copy paste it, everything we do in coding is code reuse. Code reuse. So, now, I'm going to create a new one. This is how I'm using a variable. So I'll start using a variable. And I'm going to have my main class, again, to run it. Public set of void main, string arts. It's public, class, hello world. Erase here, bring it back up. There we go. So, here I am. So, between the curly brackets of the main method, let's insert some. So, we basically, number one, we're going to create a uh, variable. We're going to initialize it. Uh, that means we're going to put sun on it, and then uh, we're going to push it out. When we hit run, it's going to print down into my log area. So my first one, let's just say I use string. As I said, if I use string, uh, I can say string a message. Let's do that. Equals, and what do you think I would put here? That's right, double quotes. Always remember that. Uh, uh, first value. I'm going to end it with what? Semicolon. Always remember that. Underneath that, I'll give you a little space. I'll put my system dot out dot print ln. Get my bracket, my, uh, not my curly brace, but the bracket. And then I would put, what do you think I would put in there? In order to access this right here, in order to access that, not the semicolon, but what's inside the quotes, I can only access it by this, using its name. This is the name we gave my first value. Since it's in double quotes, it's a string. It's type string right there. So I would put that in there, a message. And I would end it with a semicolon. So if I were to run this and see what happens, let's see, right? Watch. Save it. Run, right click, and run. Oh, look at that. My first value. And that's how you create it. And you can use many other ones. So it, it, it's depending on what type it is. All right? And I'm going to get in there because I need to basically explain the types to you. So let me stop this one and go on to the next one.